All right, y'all. So, y'all know I, I hate cigarette smoke. I can't stand cigarette smoke, y'all. I'm allergic to smoke. Um, it's gotten in my system before, and it just flat out drives me crazy. So, I ain't got no problem standing with the people who are against, um, who are against uh, menthol cigarettes. But you know what I can't stand? I, I can't stand when somebody who don't give a damn about black people all of a sudden wants to take a shot at the Biden administration and they want to pimp black people while trying to do it. So I'm talking about Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Now, this is the man, y'all, who said that he opposed the First Step Act. He said we should be putting more people in prisons. This is the same SOB who attacked Pentagon Secretary, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin uh, against DEI, who is always attacking stuff in the interest of black people. This is the same SOB who sent a letter to law firms the week after the Supreme Court affirmative action decision saying that their programs uh, would be violating uh, the Constitution. Just decided on his own. Like, his little simple ass got some power. So, this fool tweeted this today, and I had to deal with it. Pull a tweet up. Pull a tweet up. He goes, Joe Biden wants to ban menthol cigarettes, which are favored by black smokers. Meanwhile, he wants to legalize weed for white college kids and mail out free crack pipes. But pull the next one up, because there's two of them, right? Okay, all right, because I thought that was another one that he had posted. And I saw that, and I was like, I know this punk didn't. And yeah, I'm calling him a punk because that's what he is. Now, Senator Tom Cotton don't give a damn about the black voters in Arkansas. He don't care. All he cares about are his hardcore... No, that guy, that was the second tweet, okay? Um, hold on, just, just stay right there because I need to blow this up. That was a second tweet. Y'all got to... Come on now. All right, get, go, just go to my iPad. His second tweet was... Uh, hold on, let me, let, me, let me connect it to... So, before I go... My, yeah, that was a second tweet. Second tweet. Go ahead. The administration's ban is paternalistic, it's hypocritical, and it creates a huge black market for Mexican cartels in Hezbollah and all because Mike Bloomberg told him to. Y'all, Tom Cotton don't care about black people. Joy, he ain't fooling nobody with this here. And so, all of a sudden, Tom Cotton, oh, they want to get menthols, which black people like. Now, Tom Cotton ain't said nothing how the tobacco companies have been targeting black people over the last five decades. Tom Cotton ain't said nothing about how menthol cigarettes are the more addictive out of all cigarettes and how 82% bl See, he ain't talking about none of that, but now all of a sudden... Oh, it's paternalistic for them to want to ban menthols, but want to legalize weed for white kids. We got, we know exactly what this punk doing, and trust me, Tom Cotton is not a friend of black America. Tom Cotton is the biggest liar on the Hill, and there are a lot of liars on the Hill. And I don't use incendiary comments, but Tom Cotton, guys, if you remember, is an insurrectionist, at least he supported them, and was willing to overthrow the election, not certifying it, was willing to do that. Uh, he doesn't care about black people. He actually doesn't care about anyone. So I hope that not only are black people not following, but falling for his mess, but no one should be. He pulled together, strung together all kinds of words. So I bet it was a test for me and his staff. How do we get menthol, white kids, black kids, Hezbollah, and Bloomberg all in the same uh, tweet series. Right. He's a joke. And see, he, here's the whole... Here's the thing here, Robert, is hilarious. So, the proposed ban on menthol is going to, going to go after the production as well as the distribution uh, of menthol cigarettes. He's trying to make it sound like black people are going to be walking around... 
Man, I need to get that menthol cigarette. I need to get that menthol cigarette. And so, now he ain't said nothing about the thousands of black people who die every year because of menthol cigarettes. See, Mr. Pro-Life don't say nothing about that. Well, I also did not know that Hezbollah was selling loose squares down by the train tracks uh, or down by the green line. I was I was unaware of the Mexican cartel uh, dealing cools and uh, Joe Campbell down uh, you no know, down at Five Points or anything like that. But I, I said, look, Tom Cotton will make a deal with you since you're bought and sold by the tobacco lobby. Um, we'll trade you menthol cigarettes if you vote in favor of universal health care to handle the health issues that come from the uh, from the cigarettes you think are so important. Or we will trade you menthol cigarettes if you will release all the uh, African Americans who are currently serving prison sentences, both on the state, local, and federal level. Uh, for marijuana and other drug-related crimes. You release them, you can keep all the menthol cigarettes that you want. Uh, we will trade you uh, menthol cigarettes because you're bought and sold and paid for by the uh, tobacco lobby. If you will give us uh, free early childhood education so we can help educate kids out of wanting to use those cigarettes and explain the health uh, concerns around them. And there are plenty of things that we will trade you, but what he's really saying is that because the profits of the tobacco companies are in danger, because the, uh, the health of of tobacco companies is more important than the health of African Americans. He wants to use dog whistles in order to uh, to uh, make it seem as if uh, the regulations that are being put in place to help save the lives of Black folks are somehow deleterious to it. When he doesn't uh, uh, he doesn't co uh, concern himself with that writ large. I've seen a very similar argument from our Black conservative friends where they say, "Well, all this money is going to Ukraine that could be going toward reparations." And then you have the follow up question: Are you saying you support reparations? Well, no, but I'm just trying to make the point. That is the only thing he's trying to do here. They're trying to discredit the president who's trying to save black people's lives by using these uh, canards in their place. And as I said, I'll be more than happy to negotiate with them so that he can keep the menthol cigarettes. But there's a few things on the list of uh, legislation that black folks are going to need in exchange for his little cancer sticks. And you know, Rebecca, uh, go to my iPad. Um, hmm. Tobacco companies gave $1.5 million to Trump inaugural and ramped up lobbying. They want to roll back FDA oversight of e-cigarettes and cigars. This is from Matthew Myers, the president, campaign for tobacco-free kids from April 21st, 2017. Hmm, I wonder who Tom Cotton is in the pocket of. I'm sorry, you cannot be white, defend slavery as a necessary evil, have the last name Cotton, and then try to tell me you care about black folks. Like, come on, Tom. Like Joyce said, he is one of the worst in the Senate, and that is such a low bar. That bar is in hell, and he's one of the worst. Well, that's exactly it is. And so I, I just needed to... Um, uh, uh, I, I need to point that out uh, because uh, Tom Cotton is an absolutely uh, despicable uh, person, a despicable exactly. individual. Go ahead. For the record, nothing that the Biden administration did to ban menthol cigarettes would create any carceral reper repercussions for anyone who smokes menthol cigarettes. So you don't have to worry about that. They didn't say that if you were smoking those cigarettes, you're going to go to jail or anything like this. It's about the production of menthol cigarettes that have been proven to be in incredibly dangerous and result in death for anyone who smokes them, pre predominantly African-Americans. It see is about health. It is not about the criminal justice system. But see, what was so arrogant here is, oh, uh, he want to ban the cigarettes for black people, but he want to get legalized marijuana for white kids. <laughs> it's been legal for white kids. Huh? <laughs> It's been legal for white kids. What is he talking about? Tell me how many white kids and white college kids are really getting arrested because they had possession of marijuana. Get out of here. 
Yeah, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure, uh, Robert, Tom Cotton has just really spent a lot of time going around uh, to the black parts of Arkansas saying, here's what I'm going to do for y'all. I've just brought y'all some boxes of menthol cigarettes, and I want y'all to have a grand time, and I'm going to do all I can, black people, uh, to do all, I'm going to do all I can to make sure y'all black people get to keep smoking the menthol cigarettes and keep killing yourselves and driving up the health care costs, and I'm going to make sure we don't expand Medicaid expansion, and guess what? I'm going to also make sure we do some cuts to Medicare and Social Security so your, lung, so your, uh, uh, your smoke-infested lungs won't be able to get treated. That's what I'm going to do for you, black people. Yeah, it's, it's it's one of those things where you can tell they did not think this out, and he's also never actually said this in front of black people. I would love to see Tom Cotton go to the, the black side of Little Rock that we've all been to a couple times, you know, the one that seems a whole lot uh, uh, non-Arkansas-ish, uh, and have the same speech in, like, at a street corner or a barbershop or something like that, explaining to the black folks why they need more menthol cigarettes and why cancer is actually good for them. I would love to see him make that, uh, that argument, but it's not going to happen. But this is a real case where we have to... Uh, uh, and the 24 campaign, start talking about how can we have campaign finance reform in American uh, elections again? Because since Citizens United, you can literally have a senator who's just sponsored by the cigarette industry, uh, just like the uh, NASCAR driver having a, a coat on with all his sponsors on it, and he will work harder for the people who sponsor him than for the people that voted for him. And that's a danger to our democratic system that we're seeing across the board right now. And for all the black folks watching, remember I told y'all what he did? Go to my iPad. This was the letter that uh, Tom Cotton sent to top law firms warning them about race-based hiring practices. So, yes, Tom Cotton do not... Tom Cotton don't want black people to get hired at law firms, but he damn sure wants you smoking menthol cigarettes. Hmm. Ain't that... Once you're dead and unemployed. Precisely. 